Draco Magnus here for another episode of Let's Play Majora's Mask. In the last episode, we got powder kegs, bomb shoes, the gilded sword, and the mask of truth. In this episode, we're going to Romani Ranch. Well, technically, we're going to Milk Road, which has a variety of mini games and various other things around it. But details. Who needs them? Also, I started in clock time, so I wanted to show you something. The white racist dog is going to attack Deku, so let's see how he responds to Gorons. That's right, you better run! And look how racist this dog is! He attacks brown wooden people, and now a tannish stone person comes up to him, and he runs in fear. What a jerk. I also want to see what his thoughts are, but he's too close to the... You there! I said, you there! Jerk. Doggy! Woof woof! Where'd that Deku scrub go? When I see his face, I get all riled up! Go in the water! What? Get in the water! Jerk. Seriously, what a racist little dog. Honestly. Um, anyway, let's... I said, let's move on. I, I don't want to talk to you. Oh! Not going to stop the big old Goron, are you? Southern Swamp and Woodfall lies this way. Be careful. Jerk. You too! Just because I'm an adult all of a sudden. Anyway. Um... Should I collect more rupees before moving? Nah, yeah, it's fine. Although I do want to be Goron, and I want this over here. And now we start rolling. Whoops. I found a hole. With the piat, the piat hole. No thank you. Uh, no thank you on the Deku Baba either. And there's a particular type of enemy that's usually a Ow! This! Okay. It's a Taguri! Run! This bird steals your items! Come on! What are you doing just standing around? I, I didn't want that. That's right, you better run! Die! Give me my rupees, you dickish ass! Great. Ah, you. What?! My sword. I, I don't even remember how you get that back. I, I think you have to reset time to get it back. And you know what? You know what, ladies and gentlemen? I'm doing this cheap way. I'm going to cut this here, and I'm going to reset the game. Because that went horribly. That was the specific enemy I was looking for. I'm like, hey, it didn't show up, and then I get bombarded by it. It's just... I, I can't even... No. Just, just no. Okay, anyway, right, I'll be right back. let's try this again without getting attacked by the turkey or take it or whatever the hell it's called. We're just gonna power through. There it is. Stupid bird. There. Completely ignore it. Um, actually, first, before we do anything. There we go. Wait. Uh, y'all bottle fairy. Where is it? Where is it? I got it. I, I didn't want to talk to you. I don't want to talk to you. No, I don't want to save. Not yet. Thanks for the offer, but no. 
That's why I want you. Okay. Now, first we're going to look at this sign. Gorman Track. Home of the horseback riding expert. Beginners, welcome. Please drop in at your level. Okay. Thanks for the offer. The gossip stone over there. Let's see what it has to say. What do you have to say, good fellow? The law responds, but its words are heard in secret. The spirit of a charismatic dancer who died in Tournament of Field dances there night after night. You mean... This dancer? Sorry. I, 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 I'm wasting time now. Did I not take this off? There. Anyway... Oh, there appears to be a giant rock blocking the way. Milk Village Romani Ranch. Wonder what this actually says. Let's see, can I get a good lock on it? If I can pause the yeah, I can read that. Not right now, of course. But caption will probably say whether or not it's decipherable. Anyway, let's talk to this guy. Someone was up to some no good mischief and blocked the road to Romani Ranch. I'm sorry, I'll remove it quickly. I guess we'll have to return later. I mean, it's going to take him three days through. Oh, wait! Say hello to the mighty powder keg! Actually, wait. I want to see what your thoughts on this are. Well, I thought I could break it! Too late. Hey, as long as it's open to traffic, it's fine. Glad to hear it. Good man, good man. Anyway, let's go on to the Romani Ranch, because we have some stuff to do at Romani Ranch. Let me tell you. I like this song. You don't say. Wait, that sounds familiar. Well, then again, it's just the sound of a horse, to be fair. Could be anyone's horse. But before we do that, we have some more text of the cipher. I don't know what the bottom half of that says, but the top half says Karikuro Mura, which translates to ka Actually, no, it's Kakariko Mura, if I'm not mistaken, which is Kakariko Village. Yeah. That is a thing. So welcome to Karikuro Village. I mean Romani French. That's totally what I meant. But, anyway, I digress. We should probably head over to where that little girl with the bow is. Actually. Ha! I just wanted to see if I could do it. Yes, that is quite the moon. Look! What, the sun? The moon? Hippoda! Isn't that your horse? Hippona girl, it's so good to see you! I mean, I have the Goron form, but I can roll everywhere, but it's still good to see you! Well, it's good to know she's safe, at least. And that Skullkin didn't murder her. Okay, what about you, little girl? Hey, who are you? I'm Romani. I was given the na same name as the ranch. What's your name? I'm Draco. Mm -hmm. Draco? That's a nice name, but... Hopper. That's the name Romani gives you. I thought my name was cool, but fine, I'll be Grasshopper for now. See, you're wearing green clothes, and you patter about when you walk, so Grasshopper it is. Romani was practicing for tonight. Tonight. They are coming. They come at night every year when the carnival approaches. Aliens! They come riding in a bright, shining ball. A whole lot of them come down. And then... 
they come to the barn? My older sister won't believe me. But Ramon, you must protect the cows! Hey, Grasshopper, I'm recruiting for an assistant right now. You're a boy, won't you try? Uh, not now. But later. Oh, I see. My strategy begins tonight at 2. I'll be waiting by the barn. I'll be waiting by the barn. Ramoni the Ranch Girl was added to your notebook. Okay, but with that, we're going to cut this here, and I'm going to do several mini-games. Well, several. Three. Three mini-games, more or less, around the barn. So, yep, cutting this here, the annotation should have more than likely showed up at this point. And I will see you when we get back to do other stuff around Romani Ranch. Including the aliens. Alright, and we're back. Off screen, as you can see by my extra heart, I got another heart piece to complete that. And I got the Garo's Mask from a minigame just off the ranch, if you didn't see. Figured I'd recap that. And we are going to now get a mask in this building right behind us. No idea what that says. If it says anything, you'll see the caption. But anyway, and look at that. I did three mini games off screen, and it's not even noon of the first day yet. And we still have tonight to uh, help Romani, so... Yeah. Anyway, for this deed that we need to do, we're going to need the good old Bremen mask. Sorry, I just... I, I like the song. And look, there's all these chicks everywhere. Oh, this guy looks pretty bummed. wonder what... Uh, what's wrong? I heard it from McGramps. Says the moon's gonna fall. Is something that big. Sure to take this ranch down with it. Ah. Oh well. My only regret is that I won't get to see these guys in their prime as roosters. The cuckoo-loving Grog was added to your notebook. Well then, Mr. Grog, let me help you. If you recall the description for this mask, it says that people that follow the person marching behind it, or the animals that follow, will grow into adults. So we shall move, collecting all the chicks so that they will grow to adult roosters. I do not recall how many there are, but we shall move on and help them all. We shall claim a reward of most benefit and move on with our lives. The moon may fall and destroy it all, but we shall do our best to prevent the fall. Skull Kid won't know what it is when we attack him all the time. And I couldn't think of a good lyric there. It was doing good to that moment right there. Where's the last chick? But it's okay, we shall move on and locate our friend. The last one you see will get this going, and they all shall grow to full. Here he is! Ready? The magic of music, ladies and gentlemen. Is that the last one? Nope. Sorry. I got, our, I got everyone's hopes up, I'm sure. But we shall move on and locate the last. At least I hope this is so. Alright, where's our last chick? Hmm. Is he near Grog? You groggy Grog? There he is! Okay, here we go. Final chick, I think. Cuckoo! Cuckoo! And now our chicks all grow up. They show everyone what is up. We shall show Grog that they are fully mature. And they'll interrupt the song. I don't really get it. 
But just seeing these guys with a crest and all, I don't have regrets about anything anymore. I'm perfectly satisfied. Here, you can have this for me. The bunny hood! The bunny hood! My, what long ears it has! Will the power of the wild spring forth? Yeah. These guys are all roosters. <laughs> you fulfilled the wish of the of youth. This was added to your notebook. And with our delightful new bunny hood. Oh right, should take off the Bremen mask. Anyway, with our delightful new bunny hood, we move faster than the Deku scrub now. This is incredibly beneficial to fighting them tonight with Romani. I mean, you could ride on Epona's back and do it, but it, it just seems a lot more difficult to do it while moving, while trying to hit moving targets. When with the bunny hood, you could run around the house, prepare your bow, and fire. Know what I mean? You know what? I forget whether or not this does anything, but... Hey! Hey! Oh, whoops. Sorry, I didn't mean to hit you like that! I'm sorry. You, you... There we go. Now, I wish to test something, since we still have time to kill before nighttime. And yes, I know I can move time forward, but... I'm curious. In other games, when you beat up cuckoos, they send an army of cuckoos to attack you. I don't think that's so in this game. I don't remember correctly. Um, Grog, you see nothing. Oh, forget it. I don't I don't think it does it. Uh, let's move on. Sorry, Kikus. Sorry. I, I, I didn't want to do that, but okay. And I think this says the exact... Yeah, that's the exact same thing it says on the outside. Uh, anyway... Well, I guess there's, uh, nothing left to do but, uh, see Romani tonight. Time to fast forward time. And then wait to 2 a.m. in game. Which, ironically, it's 2.20 at the moment I'm recording this. All right. Alright, we're good to go. So the night of the first day! Me and my bunny hood. Now. Let's make time back to normal. So time moves by, you know, faster. And it gets to 2am quicker. Because that's when, you know, the day come. We're Romani, she's Spanish. Oh. Alright, now, I guess before I cut this, because I am going to cut this, I'll show you various areas where you can find arrows if you ever run out. If you roll into this box, arrows. If you go behind the barn here, where these are, arrows. And there's also various bushes around this area in the mass of Romani Ranch, but if I were you, I would stay around the barn and try not to wander too much from this general region. So I guess now that I've shown that, I'll uh, cut this here and at 2 a.m. in game, we'll begin. The assault on the aliens, or the alien assault will begin and we will take them down. See you in a few minutes for me, I guess. A few seconds for you. <laughs> 